All right, Ted, here we are back again with the diamond in the rough. <laughs> it's less rough now, Roman. It is getting less rough, and I'm beginning to fall in love with it. Is that bad? That is always bad. I know, because yeah. that means money, doesn't it? Right, yeah. But pretty soon, you'll start hemorrhage the money, and then the honeymoon will be over, because the two happiest days of car ownership are the days you get it and the days you get rid of it. Oh, I'll never Everything get, in between is heartache. I'll never get rid of this guy. And look, I spent $6.20 to get a temporary tag <laughs> so we can drive it. Now, as you recall, last time we did kind of an emissions test to sort of kind of fail pass-ish. Now, as we've sat here, unfortunately, the numbers are creeping up. We've now, you know, zipped past 5% on the CO, 564 uh, on the hydrocarbons. I don't know if this car is really fully warmed up to where the choke is off, so I'm not panicking yet. I'm panicking a little. I, yeah. So now we're going to take it to the local emissions place and get it tested for real to see if we can actually get rid of this temporary plate and get a real one. The honor of my gas analyzer is on the line. Coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. Let's make it legal so we can take it on the road. And you know what, Ted? Well, we're doing this. Even if it doesn't pass a mission, I think we should do a zero to 60. What do you think? Wouldn't it that would be, be fun? criminal not to. We sure, be, why not? Yeah, we got to find out how fast this goes to 60 up here in a mile above sea level because that's what we do on the fast lane cars. Let me put this in and let me make it legal. <laughs> we brought an accurate calendar for the timing, too. There we go. Woo! She's legal. All right, you do the honors. Let's drive it nice. to the local emissions testing place. We also have to get a VIN number done. Right, a VIN check, yeah. yeah. Hey, I remember from being a kid, the square one is the ignition one, and the round one is everything else. I know, you're very good. Ah, flashing back. Um, where are we going? We're going just up the street, not far. Follow me. I can do that. I oh, probably should have left the hood open in case it sticks again, but... No. Oh, look at that! Nice! Look at that, Ted! You are the man! That was like one crank and that, that's why I'm falling in love with this car. It is dead reliable. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I right. should not have totally that. jinxed the drive. <laughs> All right. Remember, that window opens. This one doesn't because it's like 90 degrees. And All right. You're going to okay. toast. So I can open that one safely though, right? Yes, not this one. Here. Let's see. Look at that go. Look at that go down. Woohoo! Oh, it's like nails on the blackboard. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if this thing will pass. Is it is it better if it's warmed up or? Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, but now more so. I mean, in a way, like on a car without a catalytic converter, yeah. just warmed up to where the choke is off is kind of the best. But if it's got a catalytic converter, you just want it as hot as you can get. It. All right. Well, it's 95 degrees it's out here. It's gonna be plenty. It's gonna be plenty. Hot. Hot. All right. Yeah. Ted, we're about to go get this car tested. Now, I have my doubts with the Valetta's film inside there because, well, it's the government. You know how they are about cameras. Yeah, right. For good reason, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, they don't have cameras everywhere. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to go in there, see if the car passes, and if they let us film, we'll shoot it. If they don't, we'll report back to you as soon as the emissions test is done. What do you think? What's the chance? I am concerned that I bumped the idle a little bit high to clean up the hydrocarbons, and it might even be creeping up now that we're running the car more and stuff like that. So I, I wonder if they're not going to flunk it just for idling. <laughs> All right, so we stuck some iPhone videos while it was being tested. <laughs> but what are the results? Oh. These are the happy tags. Okay, the, the, too good to be true. Well, and, wait, uh, wait, wait, before you keep going, there's good news and there's bad news. So why don't you give them the good news first? Okay, the good news is it passed all of its technical specifications. And it how is well in they fact, do? oh, it, okay, the limit on hydrocarbons is 400. Yeah. It passed with 
26. Whoa. Okay, and then uh, on COs, the limit yeah. is 1.5. Yeah. It passed with 0 0.03. Oh my gosh. So it's truly, it's truly, clean. it purifies the yeah, air while you drive. Yeah. But yeah. But imagine my surprise, it flunked the gas cap test. <laughs> the gas cap. So we get to go through all this again. And we have to go buy a gas cap because, well, that's what the law says. And they won't let us film in there, so we're doing it out here on the road. And we're going to get a gas cap, and we're going to get this thing certified so that we can get a real license plate. Let's it, go do it right it now. It can still happen in our lifetime. And if we uh, go right now, we can get it retested, Ted, and we can get it done for free right the second time. Yes, uh, yes. And we should do it while we're so lucky, because tomorrow we could run like a whole different car. Right, so, let's, yeah. let's go. We'll take the car, keep it warm. We got half hour before they close. Let's rock. Perfect. Okay, we're here at the auto parts store buying a new gas cap because it failed on the gas cap. And here's the crazy failed part. on their okay. test. I, I just took this off and the car went <laughs> like that, which meant yeah. it was holding. And um, here's even the crazier part. We have to go run that whole test all over again just because of the silly gas cap. Yeah, do it right the first seven times and you won't have to do it again. You know, that's when bureaucracy goes amok, Ted. It's just silly. I'm used to it. Yeah, I know. All right, let's get a new gas cap. Okay, we just passed our mission test, but this did not pass. Mm -hmm. So do you have one of those for us? I mean, we have a coupon. I don't know if we can use it. Who knows? This is for Napa. Yeah, well, then forget it. Can't use it. All right, of course you can't use it here. <laughs> nice try, Roman. <laughs> it was a nice try, though. Oh, yeah, this is for the Lincoln, right? Yeah, Lincoln. See, we're here. We get, you get to know your local parts guy <laughs> by name because you spent so much time here. It's a 1978. Okay. <laughs> uh, 78. Lincoln Continental Mark V. Uh -oh. There you go, Mark V, Mark the big five. engine. There's a big one, 7.5 liters of American goodness that just passed its emissions. My problem is... You don't have it. No, we've got it. Okay. I'm sure. Yeah. But you get to take it back over there and they're going to run it. I know, the whole crazy? thing crazy? I know. I I've know. got one in stock. All right. How much? 549. Oh, 549. Look at that, 549. <laughs> So today we spent 620 on the uh, on the plate, on temporary plate, uh, 40 bucks on the emissions test, and now 540 on a new gas cap test. Should have just bought the gas cap as a preemptive strike. You know, I just yeah. bought a new car. <laughs> there is that option. Other people have done it. It's not stupid. You know, somebody offered me three thousand dollars for that car already. Seriously, I got a really? yeah. We got an email. Thank you for the offer, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not can't for sale. No, can't do it. Can't do it. We got to go through the whole process. No, no, no. Now we needed the, the film when we were doing the wiper blades. Oh yeah, here's here with the wiper blades. <laughs> oh, you know, on the wiper blade saga. <laughs> you know, they call them land yachts, right? It is. It is the scale. I was. I was saying earlier, the scale of the car is reminding me of my double decker bus driving days when I would drive these old English. Leyland Titan half cabs and stuff like that. I find now that I'm in this big gigantic car, it's feather light steering and effortless and really, actually it's really a treat from that point of view, but I'm constantly checking my mirrors. I'm very glad it's boxy because I can see where the corners are even though they're a couple of miles in either direction. And, uh, but it's like, it's really cool to drive. I, I don't know if they make any cars. They probably don't make anything like this anymore and they should, it's nice. Today, everything's all about handling and numbers. How fast? Zero to 60. What'll it do in the skid pad? What's the lumbar support like? But really, if you're going to spend time in a car, this is the kind of car they should be building now. So I, I like it. I think it's way cool. Old. New. Look at that. What a demo. What a demo. Look hey, I saw you two in that radiator cap. Yeah. Maybe this is something I should handle. <laughs> Go for it, Ted. Now I'm scared to touch it. <laughs> you can do it. Ah, the glory moment. <laughs> that was the easiest fix so far, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, Let's go find out. It better pass the second time. Ay, ay, ay. What's gratifying about this, Ted? Oh, uh, what's really gratifying? I'm just, I'm just reading this as though it's some sort of a diploma from a, from a, you know, a prestigious oh. university. <laughs> Something smarter than what I did. The University yeah. of Lincoln. <laughs> Continental? <laughs> yes, the Continental is cool. Um, yeah, no, what's cool about it uh, is that, you know, my gas analyzer, I use it at the shop all the time, and 
when I do. Usually, if my machine says it'll pass, the state really says it'll pass. But I always wonder if I'm using it off a car battery, if it'll do as well. And uh, clearly it does, because again, it, it showed cleaner at this place than what I was hoping for. Um, I don't know, I'm just patting myself on the back. Mostly I'm patting my machine on the back for not letting me down. You know, driving this car is incredible. There, It goes on forever, look at that, it's like, it's like it's in a different zip code up there. <laughs> if I were in a faulty airplane, I would eyeball your hood as a place to set down. You know? Hey, hey, Ted, let's do a little archaeology here. Archae well, if they catch us rolling here, we're going to get in trouble. So we have to be right on the sly here because they don't like. Yes. But let's do some. This is actually blue screened with a backdrop of EnviroTest. <laughs> yes. All right, let's yes. do archaeology. Let's see what we can find in this. This is like a time tablet. Check this out. Look at this, dude. Do you believe it? Look at that. Is that a radar detector? That is a radar yeah. detector from 1978. I wonder how, I wonder if it still works. Let's plug it in. We, well, we know the lighter works. There you go. Right there's there. the lighter, okay. Let's see if the lighter works. Ah! It still works! Look at that! <laughs> Eat your I heart like out. the big jeweled red light, yeah. man. <laughs> Eat your heart out, passport. I mean, the, the sophistication that went into this, and I'm sure when my dad bought this, it must have been several hundred dollars. Back oh, in the yeah. Day. And look, you can see yeah, where yeah, right there. There's the little sticky tab. Yeah, where yeah, that's, where he, that's where he sat it. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> the sensitivity. Yeah, I remember I remember playing with those. Not that I had any fast enough to warrant it. I wonder if this has any value to it. You think somebody at some point would, like one of the first uh, MDR 2000 <laughs> radar scan corporation. Who it knows? adds to the story, but yeah, 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 no value. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm betting against it. Well, we'll have to do some more archaeology <laughs> next time. <laughs> there you have it, Ted. Look at that. You are the man or the car. The car is great. <laughs> the is car is great. Down. Now, how, I want to see how we compare. Yeah, compare it from, just to like minutes yeah, ago, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's see, see what how the consistent they are. Yep. Uh, CO's 0.02. First was 0.03, so not much difference there. Yep. But and because we have the new gas cap, we passed. So I think uh, now, that finally, feels like shiny chrome. Yeah. Finally, Ted, let's go do a zero to sixty, and we'll do that next time on a diamond in the rough. As always, this is Roman and my British mechanic extraordinaire, Ted X, <laughs> like Bond James. See you next time on the fast lane car, and thanks for watching. You know, I, I could see and I could feel my dad after a long day at work sitting down in this car, you know, and turning on the Quadra Sonic <laughs> stereo, putting in Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> yeah, on purpose. <laughs> or, uh, you know, or, well, let's see what else we got. What else we got? We got nothing in there. I think we snooped. No, we got more. <laughs> let's see what else he could have put in. Hold on. Do some more archaeology here. Look look at this. Andy Williams, greatest hits. Hey, wait. That, those aren't that bad. No, they're good. Yeah, that's, yeah, I yeah, mean, so, nothing wrong with that. So I could yeah. see my dad putting, you know, in Andy Williams and just coming home and feeling kind of like he's made it in America, you know, he's he's succeeded, he's, he's got if the I'd American dream. If I'd been your dad yeah. and you were my kid, I'd never get out of the car. i just, you know. <laughs> Thanks. I was going for a really solemn moment <laughs> I'm here. sorry. Yeah, you, yeah. Just, yeah. you, just, you just speared it with... Uh, <laughs> Always got to get the... Yeah. 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 No, I, no, the thing is, you're right, it would have been a nice... It would have been a really pleasant way to commute. Yeah. And you close the bank vault-like doors, right. and the outside world is out there, and you're in here, you and Andrew Williams. But right. And you're, you know, you're, you're in America. America, because this is America. America. You're America, and you've made it. I could see that. I it's, feel like I've made it just riding in it all these years later, so, yeah. you know. And that's the cool thing. I feel like, you know, my dad's in here with us, and that's what makes this such a special car for me. Hope he's not mad at me. He's pretty hot, there. though. <laughs> That's my son yeah. hiding back there. Dad's going to like it better when the AC's working again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>